Hi, this is Leslie Fruk of Team Fruk coming at you with a trip down memory lane, taking a look at my pedagogy in year one of my experiences teaching high school life sciences at an international school, specifically American School Foundation of Monterey in northern Mexico. My husband, Adil Farouk, known as EdTech Farouk, and myself, both in the face of new information about teaching and learning and best practices, wondered just how much our practices have evolved in these eight and a half years since we started at ASFM. Taking a look right away, my first year in, I have student artwork on the wall. We have safety posters along the top of the whiteboard and chalkboard. And along the left-hand side, those are branches of biology poster collages put together by the students. I was uh, seeking methods to engage the students. Back in year one, I had ecosystem getaway project. And the students were asked to create anything physical that would encourage eco ecotourism to the ecosystem of their choosing. And in doing so, they could demonstrate to me their understanding of topics such as food webs, energy flow, matter, cycling, and different species and their habitats. And so the target audience was potentially everyone in the school because the select group that had the I guess most content accurate and nicest uh, presentation together, the synergy of the two, were to be hung in the upper main hallway for all students and teachers of our school to see. So without anyone even talking about a target audience being beyond the walls of the classroom, I was already doing that and I find that really astounding right now because it's only just recently on Twitter that I've seen evidence of this whole idea of breaking down the walls of the classroom. Another key feature of ecology is that it's outside and so I did what I could as a former, former field botanist, I did what I could to get the students outside and experiencing their ecology concepts and so this is a transect quadrat study being undertaken in what was the field behind our school. There's the water tower in the distance on the one hill on campus and of course we would bring this data back with us to the classroom and analyze it uh, integrating math into the science curriculum in what we now would call a cross-curricular approach of course being able to derive a lot of what I did in the classroom not only from my educational degree but from my four years of experience working at an environmental consulting firm before that I was able to tell the students and show the students exactly what it would be that they might do with this kind of information should they choose a career in ecology or biology. Now I see from my pictures that I did a lot of writing on the board back then and this has changed a lot in the eight and a half years I've been at American School. I don't write on the board in this manner anymore. These are notes that students were taking into their binders or into their notebooks about energy flow and ecosystems and there's many more just like them for the biology 10 class. I see that there are diagrams for glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, the electron transport chain for fermentation. This was the standard method of content delivery other than taking the kids outside or having them create a poster or a presentation to convey their content knowledge. There wasn't a whole lot of science practices or skills development, at least not explicitly stated, not back then. What I did do was I was very interested in finding out as a first year high school science teacher how the students were receiving the approaches that I was uh, taking and I also wanted to understand exactly how much of what we had done in Ecology 12, for example, had impacted them to an extent that they might um, use it again later or think about it again later. And so SurveyMonkey is a wonderful site that I used 
to find out all about what my students were thinking about my teaching practice and the content itself back then in 2007. That's it for year one. Stay tuned for whatever pictures I find that trigger ideas for me to talk about how my pedagogy has evolved for the next year. Thanks so much for listening. Goodbye.